This topic, I'm upset. <laughs> and I'm not upset at the basic idea. So, Voltron is going to get re- rebooted through Netflix. I love Voltron. I have every single episode of Voltron that came out on DVD and those special lion tins. Uh, yeah, the US only episodes fucking blow. Um, Go Lion is great, but I actually kind of really like the U.S. adaptation of Voltron. Um, it's it's a good show. Monster of the Week, but whatever, it's fun. So they're going to reboot it, and that's cool. I, I'm interested in seeing what they do. A lot of kind of like Voltron revisits or reboots like 3D and whatnot weren't so great, but Netflix definitely, they've proven to us now that they're going to really put a good effort into something when they when, when they do it, especially an exclusive show. My problem with this is fucking every single goddamn article about this made it a clickbait headline that made it sound like Guillermo del Toro was fucking involved in the Voltron reboot. Oh, no, not clickbait. Yeah. Well, I was really, really excited <laughs> when I thought Guillermo del Toro was fucking doing Voltron. Uh, would he really be necessary for a Voltron reboot? Huh? Would he be necessary for a Voltron reboot, though? It would have made it really cool and really interesting. Make it, like, horror-themed. But yeah, the, you know every every headline wanted to talk about uh, troll hunters, which is the thing that he's going to be doing for it, which I'm interested in. But they always uh, phrased it in a way that made Voltron it look like... reboot, comma new anime show from Del yeah, Toro. Right? The comma separates them, so it's two. Yeah, but they never yeah. mentioned troll hunt. I'm just saying. Eh, we don't need that. Well, it's a, it's a deal between uh, uh, DreamWorks Animation and Netflix. It's just interesting that Netflix wants to get into animation stuff. That's a cool idea. Well, they, they said months and months ago that they did. They they want to do an exclusive uh, anime. They want reimagining. Get, they want to they want to get people. Uh, they want to get animators and companies from Japan to do exclusives. So GI Joe cartoon, no GI Joe cartoon, <laughs> not those shitty ones that in the past ten years that are awful. I want a good GI Joe. I'm sorry. Okay. So I mean, I would love for this to work out well. I don't have a whole lot to say other than that. Um, it would be interesting to see them take the original characters and the original idea. And perhaps make it a more continuous story. Um, I gotta go back and watch. It's, it's so funny. I love Voltron as a kid. I don't remember any any episodes. Like I, I guess they didn't really show me after the after the the like eighty seven. I don't remember seeing any reruns. So on the first anymore. like four or five are really great because they're all continuous. It's like a miniseries. Yeah, and then I mean they do change they change some things like in the Japanese. The guy gets in, killed in, in Japanese, Go Lion. Right? Sven's dead in 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 the U S version. He just. Gets injured and retires, basically, from, from, from being in oh, Voltron. Really? Golion is good. Golion is a much darker um, um, show, which is where... that That's that's what the majority of Voltron is based off of. Um, but in this instance, I actually kind of like the slightly cheerier version, the U.S. version. Probably because it's what I remember from being a kid. You want darkness? Go watch the Dungeons & Dragons cartoon. There you go. That's a little dark for kiddies. 